Okay, so the most attempted uh, question for this assignment is, what's the name of this? Just a second here. Predicting the qualitative acid-base properties of salts. Predicting the qualitative acid-base properties of salts. Okay, so I already set the whiteboard up with this. Let's come over here. What we're supposed to do is consider the following data on some weak acids and bases, and then use this data to rank the following solutions in order of increasing pH. In other words, one next to the solution that'll have the lowest pH and two with the next lowest and so on. Okay, so increasing pH. Well, what I gotta do with each of these then, I have to take each of these and say, what kind of an acid base issue do I have here? Well, I know sodium is always a counter ion. So what I'm dealing with here is, uh, is iodide, right? Plus water. And let's think about this in terms of the equilibrium with HI and sodium hydroxide, right? Okay, I can see immediately, this is a strong acid. And so this is not going to go this way. It's only gonna go this way. All right, so in other words, this is gonna be completely unreactive. This is gonna be unreactive, okay? It's probably gonna be about a pH of, I'd say, seven. All right, I'm gonna guess on the pHs here. I'm not sure that's even fair to do that, but ultimately we're gonna be ranking these one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so let's think of this, ammonium and bromide. Let me go to a different color to keep this clean. So what I have here is ammonium and bromide, which ammonium is, is actually an acid, right? So this is gonna go into solution with uh, NH3, right? Plus hydroxide, okay? So this is an acid. And this is a counter ion for a strong acid, so it's not anything, or it's a counter, it's a conjugate base for a strong acid. So this is not gonna do anything. We're gonna actually produce, uh, whoops, whoa, 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 this is not right. This would be H3O plus. So we are gonna actually produce some H3O pluses in solution. So this is an acid, okay? That was, unre that was a base, unreactive. This is an acid, this is gonna be low. All right, so let's come over here and go to back to blue and talk about this. This looks like that's acetate. So what I have here is acetate, which I'm gonna abbreviate as AC minus. Sodium doesn't do anything, right, because it's counter ion. That's gonna be in, uh, in water. That's actually gonna be, because this is a weak acid, right, not a strong acid. This was strong. This is weak, so we're actually gonna have, let's see, plus some sodium hydroxide, we're gonna have some of this in solution. So this is actually gonna be basic. This is gonna be not super basic perhaps, but relatively high, okay? Or higher than, than neutral, okay? All right, so let's look at this now. ClO minus, ClO minus, right? Good, because potassium is just a spectator ion. Plus water, I should have gone back to black. Let me go back. Go back to black just to keep things clean here. ClO minus in water, right? This is gonna make ClOH, right? That this is also a weak acid, okay? So this is gonna be, and it's gonna have some, we're gonna have, since they're weak, right? That means we do actually have some of this forward reaction. So that's gonna produce hydroxides in solution, and that's also gonna be higher than neutral, okay? So now that we've got that, let's think about, let's go ahead and rank these. If this is neutral, um, we're gonna say the, let's see, increasing pH. The lowest pH is gonna be this one because it's an acid, so I'm gonna, let me go to red here. I'm gonna say this is a one, and I'm gonna circle it. There's my one, that's the lowest pH, okay? The next lowest pH is gonna be this guy, right? And then I've gotta figure out which is, which is, uh, which of these is, um, higher, right? So in order to do that, I have to think to myself, which one of these acids is a weaker acid? The one that's weaker means it's gonna come this way more, right? So let's look at this. Acetic acid has a uh, Ka of 1.8 times 10 to negative five, right? And hypochlorous acid has a Ka of 3.0 times 10 to 
to the minus 8. Let me, let's remind ourselves what Ka is. It's H plus A minus over HA, right? So this is a really small number, and that means that it's going to have less uh, protons in the solution. That means this is the weaker of the two. Can you see that? That's the weaker because it's the smaller of the two, right? So if that's the weaker, that means it's going to go this way more. It's going to produce more hydroxides. So this then is going to be number four. That's going to be the highest pH, and this will be three. Okay, so it goes two, one, three, four. Let's go back over here to, uh, to the explanation. And we will see it's two, one, three, four, for the reasons which I've just described. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, obviously, uh, there were a few steps that we did there. We had to identify the, um, the acid-base reaction that was going on. This one was iodide, right? That was ammonium, which is an acid. And this would be, here were two bases, hypochlorite and acetate. And we figured out by, by um, looking at these pKa's, which was the weaker acid, and therefore which was gonna make the more uh, hydroxide. Okay, hope that's helpful.